Hey everybody, Chief Meteorologist Brad Panovich here with your Sunday night update. We got to talk about Tropical Storm Zeta, the impact it's going to have on our week as far as rainfall. And we're going to look ahead to Halloween. So we're going to talk a lot about and get all the forecast in as well. Let's start with what's going on out there tonight. We've got northeast winds across the area. And those northeast winds have been bringing in chilly air. Temperatures have been falling all day. In fact, we're now at new low temperatures for the day down into the 50s. Now, a lot of this is what we call ground clutter on the radar. Most of this is not reaching the ground, but there are some areas of drizzle or mist out there, and I would expect that to continue into the overnight hours. So when you wake up tomorrow, probably low to mid 50s, um, but a lot of clouds, drizzle, and mist. As we go through the day, relatively dry. We actually could see some sunshine begin to break out um, as we go into the afternoon hours. So I think actually a pretty decent afternoon um, once we get past three or four in the afternoon, that's when we'll see the best chance of seeing some sunshine and then really drying out for Tuesday and Wednesday. Temperatures will return back to the 70s, but we've got a lot of things heading our way. One of them is Tropical Storm Zeta. You can see it down here. Um, I'm going to highlight it here with the cursor. It's right there, and it's actually beginning to gain some strength. We've also got this big upper low and a cold front swinging in from the west, so the combination of the, both of those will bring us a chance of rain, but you can see tonight the center of Zeta is like right there. And I'll give you the 8 p.m. advisory. We'll get a new advisory coming up at 11 o'clock. But winds are up to 50 miles per hour. This is expected to move northwest, could become a minimal hurricane. Now, a couple things working in our favor for not a ton of strengthening. The water temperatures here in the Gulf of Mexico are much cooler, especially the northern Gulf, and there's a lot of wind shear. But where it is right now, these are some of the warmest waters in the entire Atlantic Basin. So between now and the southern um, Gulf of Mexico, this is the highest potential for intensity. As it gets further north, the wind shear as well as the cold temperatures in the water will cool things off. Now, by Thursday afternoon, the remnants, which is basically what it'll be, it'll be basically a remnant lower moisture, may not even be that, is going to combine with a cold front. So you can see it to our west, that's going to put us on the wet side of the system. So we're going to see that southeasterly wind bringing in some moisture. Now, the thing working in our favor it's going to be moving. This is not a slow moving system by any stretch of the imagination. So it'll be in and out of here pretty quickly. We went through all of our normal names, Arthur through Wilfred, and we went to the Greek alphabet. Now, a lot of folks, and I understand why, you see Zeta and you think that's the last letter in the Greek alphabet. It's actually not. Um, it's the sixth letter. Um, and this is only 21 of the Greek letters. There's 24 of them. So we still have 18 names left. So we're not going to run out of names. But we are one shy of the all-time record for named storms. If we get to Ada, that would tie the record for 28 named storms back in 2005. Right now, we're sitting at 27 named storms. And if this becomes a hurricane, it'll become the 11th hurricane of the season. So a lot of crazy stats uh, with this system. So here's what's going on early in the week. This low moves away. You can see the big storm out west. And yes, that's winter weather all the way down into Texas and parts of uh, Oklahoma, you can see what's going to happen here. The moisture is going to get pulled up into this low, and you can see it starting to spread out along the warm front. So we're going to see rain here. I mean, it's, it's, there's no doubt. Even without Zeta, we would have rain coming in with this system. This is a pretty powerful storm system that's heading in. But you can see the, the track of the tropical entity, and I say tropical entity because when it moves inland, who knows if it'll still be a tropical depression or whatever. It's really about the tropical moisture. And that's why I like looking at this chart here, which tracks the tropical moisture. You can see the deep tropical moisture with Zeta moves up towards the Louisiana coast. So this is Wednesday morning. This is where we start to get a little cloudy, no pun intended, that this is going to start merging with the frontal system. And this is where it's like, where is the remnant low? Um, does it just become part of the main low? Um, that's a big question mark you know, on what's going to happen with this system because there's a good chance, you know, that there may be anything here and this might take over. But either way, we're in the warm sector here. We've got warm, humid air coming in from the south. There would be a small potential with this setup of maybe some severe weather, but it's kind of early to tell because we don't know if we're going to have instability. We don't know about the timing. We don't know. There's a lot of unknowns. There's just too many variables. We've got fronts and tropical systems and upper lows. So the severe threat, it's not zero, but it's kind of hard to tell. It's muddy. We will know as we get closer and the kind of thing sets up. You know, severe weather, thunderstorms, really don't reveal their true setup as far as where um, until about two or three days out. So we're still many days away from that. But you can see the moisture moves in primarily on, on Thursday. Thursday is the soaker. It's going to be a wet day and probably most of Wednesday, honestly. But here's the good news. Everyone worried about the holiday weekend, you know, Halloween, Saturday. 
I think this is in and out quickly. By Friday morning, look at the dry air that's already driving into the region. So whatever we see from Zeta and this frontal system, it's going to be a Wednesday, Thursday kind of setup. By Friday, I think it's long gone. And certainly by Saturday, it is way gone. Um, and look at all that dry air. In fact, this is Saturday. Not only is it going to be dry, that's high pressure, and that is cold. I mean, we might be stuck in the 50s for highs on Halloween, and trick-or-treating could be in the 40s. So it's going to be pretty chilly around here, but the good news is it will be completely dry. And just to show you a different perspective um, of this, I'll show you the future cast radar. You can see all the rain moving in really Thursday, and the heaviest stuff, at least depicted here, is Thursday into Thursday night. We'd have some rain. So the Panthers game looks wet but it might not be as bad as early in the day. Again, still some uncertainty there. But by Friday morning, the whole thing starts to shift east. And you can see by Friday afternoon and then going into Saturday, you know, the system's long gone. And look at all that dry weather um, over the Carolinas. So how much rain are we talking about? I mean, right now, based on the way we're seeing things set up, it's like two to four inches for the mountains, foothills, and most of the Piedmont. So if you look at this area here, you know, you're in that two inches purple. And the brighter area is about two and a half to three inches. And then uh, four inches would be over in here, one to two down here. So, you know, that's a lot of rain, but I think we can handle that. If that ramps up, then we could have more of an issue that doesn't account for any severe weather risk. So let me quickly show you the 10-day forecast for those who aren't going to be up late to see this. Here's the 10-day forecast. You can see I will get rid of my head there so you can see it. Um, we're looking at rain for that Panthers game, probably upper 70s, and then dramatically cooler for Friday and Halloween right now. I expect temperatures struggling to get back to 60 with morning lows in the 30s and 40s. Have a great night, everybody.